On this episode of You Can't Eat the Grass, our farm is finally full of flowers! And that should mean big money, but sales have been down this year. Is a holiday weekend just what we need? Stay tuned to find out. We really wanted to plant the dahlias inside of a greenhouse, but since our greenhouse blew away, that didn't leave a lot of options. But this greenhouse, the center bed, doesn't really have that much in it that we need to keep in there. There's a stalk and there's some Canterbury bells, but basically those either never did anything or they're done, so it's time to clean up this bed anyways. So I'm gonna clean it up, get it ready, and then tomorrow Serena can plant the dahlias in here. There you go. I don't know, what do you think? I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks really good. You better think it looks really good because I'm not telling it anymore. No? No. Nope. I don't know, maybe one or two more passes? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm happy, thank you. Now tomorrow I can plant all the dahlias. Yep, get it done. There's lots of empty buckets here, you know what know. that means. Well look at this gap in the cart filling things but yeah I've been I've been working for a while to get stuff picked and I'm nowhere near <laughs> nowhere near uh, what I need to get picked before I should finish for the night my goal is I want to have everything picked for when Rox and Nelly are here to make bouquets with me tomorrow morning but I've failed. <laughs> I've failed to do that every single week so far. Every week I like, you know, still have picking left. Maybe but this is the week. This week. I'm trying, but come see the cooler. It's getting dark already. Where's all my solstice daylight going? Well, it is like 9.30. It's like gonna be dark at 10. I compressed everything. Look. Back. But I have to, I have to pick this much still. <laughs> and all I've picked is like buckets and buckets of Euro. I haven't even completed the Euro picking. Um, I picked all the lilies. I started doing the greenery, but I still have like you know, eight buckets of Rebecca. I need to get other greeneries. I need to pick my daisies, my scabiosa, uh, my bee balm, my new exciting bee balm. There's lots more to come in here. It looks good in here already. I know. <laughs> Told you. Told you I hadn't been slack. There's just flowers to pick, which I'm not going to complain about. <laughs> not having flowers the last few weeks definitely gives me appreciation of having too many flowers to pick. The scabiosa is really producing this week, which is exciting because they're so pretty. I love them. These are the ones that we started last year. So this is their second year and they're producing really good. Like I'm, I'm really happy with how many stems I'm getting off of them more. I think I want a full bed, like a full bed of white, a full bed of blue. That's crazy. That's a pretty long stem. I know. Rebecca is looking pretty amazing. You know, when it's like wall of it blooms, it's love. <laughs> I know, they're the best and they're so big. The first flower is always really, really big. Makes me so happy. I could border the entire farm with these. I love them so much. I forget having a boxwood hedge, just like a Rebecca hedge. Maybe, ideas. Look at that, right? Like this, there's, there's no perspective. 
This is like, it really is that big. And we have sunflowers this week. Very first sunflowers. Doing these bunches where it's like rubecchia and sunflowers. Next week we'll have our very first perennial sunflowers. about this. How about this for height? Almost as tall as me, my friend. This is an annual bergamot that we planted late last summer. Obviously, <laughs> this is the right way to grow it, but it just started blooming. And the color on these, I love it. It's this, like pinky, purpley tone. So pretty. We finally got some focals with the rebecca, the sunflowers with the lilies, with the daisies. You know, we still have lots of filler with the gyro. And then having this as like a greenery with some, you know, some fun flower textures to it. This has me very happy. Let's go up and put them into the bucket. It's getting dark, so it's headlit time. Okay, I'm geared up, but I don't want any more filming because I want to listen to my audiobooks. So get out of here, Ian. Well, I know when I'm not wanted. It's officially cherry season. They're so good right now. Well, my book finished, so I think that means I'm probably done. <laughs> Enough for the day. It's looking good though. I think we're gonna have a full cooler, and then I probably still have an hour and a half of harvesting for the morning, so. It's better be a good market. It's Friday and Serena is already down there making bouquets, so let's go do a little check-in on her. I thought you were making bouquets. Well, I didn't get my picking done last night, so we got the assembly line going over here, but I need to pick a few things first. Let's do it. It's been really hot this week. And so because of that, I was trying to get as much as possible picked last night. Flowers, they need some time to hydrate. They wilt occasionally in the heat. But I saved a few things that are a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more hardy to the hot weather. And so pick, pick some more stuff. We need some options. Lots of sunflower colored bouquets this week. Yeah, lots of yellow. Lots of yellow rebecca, yellow and orange yarrow. But when we get this beautiful fuchsia color into the mix, then they're gonna look good. You might have to fight the bees for the flowers. We can share.
just checked the stand. There's only two bouquets left up there, so gotta gotta get some stuff up there. Gotta sell everything. Let's go get some of these into the stand. Show off how empty the stand looks. I did an Instagram post. Maybe this marketing thing, maybe there's something to it. <laughs> maybe I should get you in to put up a Facebook ad. We were supposed to do that every single Friday this year. We've and done it once. We've missed a few. Somebody's just going oh, over. Perfect. It's not done yet, it needs a dollar sign. I always get a little bit of anxiety when I'm writing the signs out because of exactly this. It's hard to leave enough space for these words. You always think you're doing good and then all of a sudden you get to the end, your letters are half the size. But it takes forever to clean these things off, so it's a one-time deal, you know, no redos. Practice makes perfect, Ian. We just need to write the sign more often. I know. Oh, and now we have more flowers up here. We're reloaded. Ready to sell. 25 bouquets from the stand today. What do you think? Are we gonna sell 25? We might. They're selling really good so far. So 25 would be nice. Kind of takes the pressure off the market a little bit. We still want to sell a lot to the market, but it always makes you feel a little better when the stand sells so good. Serena is back harvesting, but before I go down there and see how she's doing, let's check the cash and see how much money's in this box. Can't make pink bouquets unless we have pink ingredients. That is a true fact. So far, yellow, orange bouquets are on to pink. Yes. Look how good that looks. Yeah, I love the colors when they're all mixed together. Some of them to the stand. Okay. Let's put eight in the stand. Make it a nice even hundred in the cooler. So I just checked the stand because it needed reloading again. And I think we might be at the mid, mid 300s being sold out of the stand today it's already. Good. Yeah, it's a pretty good day. Next year, we might have to make another walk-in cooler. That makes me feel pretty good. <laughs> I like that idea. Tomorrow is the market and I'm super excited. It doesn't happen very often that the market falls on the same day as Canada Day. So, you know, one of the biggest party days of the year, you know, there's gonna be lots of people going to other people's houses, looking for bouquets. So, you know, there's just, it's gonna be easy sales. As for me right now, I'm going to pack the truck and then I'm gonna go check out the stand. You know, just kinda get everything ready for tomorrow. And then, you know, most important thing that I gotta bring tomorrow is cherries. So I'm gonna go pick a little bucket of cherries too. So I got something to munch on while I'm at the market tomorrow. Farm is looking good. I did the math. 
We didn't make $500 today, we made $510 today from the roadside stand. So we achieved our roadside stand goal. That's pretty amazing, right? That That's really encouraging. And that just shows the power of the roadside stand. I think that's enough cherries for me tomorrow. It's more than it looks. It's a pretty full little bucket there. They're so good, they're so good. I could just eat cherries, like that's it. I could just eat cherries my whole life. I've done nothing since you left me here 15 minutes ago. But I'm gonna make six $40 bouquets. Step one in making my $40 bouquets is I'm gonna go pick good stuff that I've hoarded and refuse to use in my $20 bouquets because it's too good for $20. All right? Yeah. pick them all, then I can't enjoy them outside. I think mine's better. Sorry. <laughs> okay, hold this. Maybe I can use some of these. Okay. That should be something to do something. Right? Uh, yes. Back to good stuff. Okay, make your best bouquet. Best bouquet of them all? One. All right, I've got a core. I haven't made one of these in so long. What do you think? Do I still know how to do this? How long do you think it'll take me? How fast can I do a big spiral bouquet? Five minutes. Five minutes? I'm faster. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to get five minutes? Saved all of these just for this. This is exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> you know why. Is it what you like? No, yeah, because I've made it before. <laughs> you remember, you just don't remember why you remember. You're like, there was something that went with those blue sea hollies. Do you think it'll sell before 9 a.m.? Well, the big ones sold early. People who had like events that they were shopping for, getting in early. Didn't you say like someone bought one of these as like a bridal bouquet once? Uh, Did you I don't have... remember offhand, but I thought, I, I thought you said that like someone came and like bought bouquets before their wedding and like bought a big one as like a bridal bouquet. Sure. I said that. It's now lore. Someone once said, definitely like hit the dollar point for 40. Okay, then we have to see, is it big enough? You know what the test is. Okay, moment of truth. Fail. I don't have, there you go. I'm waiting 
waiting for you to take back your fail. Well, you did fail. You failed the first time. You made it the second time. I'm, so I'm waiting. Congratulations on second place. Okay, I am going to bed now. I got a big day ahead of me. And you have a big day ahead of you tomorrow too, so don't stay up too late. I'm only gonna make six of these. And we said they only take five minutes. 25 minutes. It'll be done in no time. <laughs> It's July 1st, and it's also market morning. Briefly, I'm very excited to be a Canadian. There's lots of wonderful places to live in the world, but it's hard to complain when you're born in a place with all the opportunities that we have here. It's really provided an amazing life for me and my family, but uh, on to the market. I gotta get that truck packed and get off. I've been dilly-dallying inside for a little too long this morning, so I gotta get moving. You gonna help me, Bo? The truck is packed super tight today. There's lots of lily bouquets, so they're really like large in size. And then there's a lot of them. I'm bringing 80 of the $20 bouquets down to the market and another six or seven of the $40 bouquets. So there's, you know, close to $2,000 worth of product to sell today. But before I go, I gotta take these bouquets up to the stand. Obviously not gonna break any records today, but with the roadside stand looking so good, so much product going down to the farmer's market today, like, who knows? It would be awesome to have an over $2,000 day today. And I think we can do it. I think that that's uh, really possible. market is almost open and I'm excited. Time to get this show on the road. It's a little bit windy. I'm hoping that my tent doesn't blow away, but other than that, I am foreseeing smooth sailing all day. So let's see what happens. It's 9 a.m. and I'm taking a brief break to film this. It's been super busy. We're at 380 already, so great start. The $40 bouquets are selling really well. There's only two of them left. We've already sold so much that I have to push the whole display forward. We're two hours into the market now and we're at 610, so we're trucking along. It was a little bit slower this last hour. Lots of people, but... Uh, you know, just not quite as many buying, but still doing great. And uh, I think I think that uh, this next hour is gonna be busy. Well, look who decided to show up. I know, it's Canada Day. Have to come and enjoy all the activities and the fun. So we're visiting Ian at the stand before heading downtown to do to do fun kids events. It's pretty exciting because the market is is actually doing not bad this week. We're in the mid 800s already and there's still lots of flowers left and there's still an hour and a half left, I think. And the flowers, the flowers look really good. <laughs> so we haven't sold anything. Apparently I'm cursing the market since I showed up. Ian hasn't had a single sale. So I don't know if we're gonna hit a thousand anymore, but they still look really good. <laughs> still, it's, you know, it's always fun to be at the market. Um, and it's especially fun when there's beautiful flowers to look at. Well, that's it for the market. A bit disappointing. We didn't make it to a thousand. Final was 870. I think that the financial realities are hitting people a little bit this year and that, you know, 
The flower bouquets just aren't selling quite as well because of that. The business has to continue to evolve, but I think every business has to evolve. And we just have to realize that uh, the markets aren't going to be like they were last year, this year, at any point in time. I'm going to pack up, get home, and check that stand. Okay, so I've been thinking about what happened today at the market because when I was taking down my stand, I saw that all the other flower farmers still had tons of flowers left as well. So, you know, one thing for sure, there was nothing different about what we were doing compared to everybody else. I'm sure everybody else was having a similar sort of day. Today, specifically because Canada Day, you know, it's July 1st, it's kind of like the most summery day of the year, and it's a big deal here in Kelowna. Uh, I think everybody was kind of like going out to the beach or there's like a big thing downtown where there's just like tons and tons of different events and so people don't want to be carrying bouquets around so it was a different customer first thing in the morning first thing in the morning it was people who were on a mission they were getting ready to go to a party or they were putting on a party themselves that day and people who are coming later on that was part of the like Canada Day crew you know they're wearing the Canada Day stuff they weren't in the market for a bouquet. They weren't gonna buy a bouquet because they're not going home. Even still, if things had carried on, it's not like today would have been a $1,500 day at the pace that it was going. So, you know, there's definitely some things to think about. In a slower economy, um, you know, obviously it presents challenges, but there's opportunities in that challenge as well uh, in seeing, you know, where the market is going, right? We're gonna have some thinking, and I'm sure we'll do lots and lots of talking about this off camera, because we always do. We'll, we'll make a plan. We'll be all right, because, uh, you know, we got a lot of things going for us. But, you know, I, like I've said in other videos, I think we're, uh, we're gonna have some more markets where we are questioning whether they're profitable for us or not. 